Ant-Man the Wasp was directed by Peyton Reed, the guy who also directed the first one. And in this movie, Scott Lang got house arrested after the events of Captain America Civil War. And Hank Pym and Hope discovered how to find Janet Van Dyne, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. So they help Scott Lang to escape the house because they need him to contact Janet. So yeah, I found this to be an enjoyable MCU movie. After Infinity War, we have this movie and I thought that there's some dark tone in this movie but no this is just an enjoyable movie which I was pleased and I do think that this movie is better as the first one they're enjoyable light-hearted and jokes that really work there are some jokes in this movie that I cannot relate to but then they kept crafting it and then I burst out laughing so yeah um, jokes works in this movie we have a villain named Ghost that I think that this villain is better than the villain from the first one she has an intriguing backstory that I learned, but her character development is just poor. So yeah, I have some problem in this movie. My problem in this movie is Scott Lang, the character of Scott Lang. From the first movie, he is a very smart guy. He knows how to craft things, to break in homes, and he adapts the suit very quickly. He's a very smart guy, but in this movie, he's just some kind of an idiot, which I was not pleased. And there is a post credit scene in this movie, there are two of them. Um, the first post credit scene, I don't think that it got arranged very well. I do think that they're supposed to put it the ending of the movie so many people will know what happened. Because in theater, when credits roll, all the audience got up and leave. And I do think that me and my family and other few people were waiting for the post credit scene to come. Because I do think that the first post credit scene is very intriguing. But overall, Ant-Man the Wasp is a very enjoyable movie. And Vangeline Lili's character as the Wasp, she shines in this movie. Michael Pena is also funny in this movie. I mean, he is still funny in this movie as the first, since the first one. So yeah, I still enjoy this movie as the first one. So yeah, I can't wait to buy it on Blu-ray or I guess I can't wait to add this movie on Netflix. I hope that this movie will be on Netflix. And I can't wait for the next MCU movie. Captain Marvel. Yeah, I can't wait for that movie. So yeah, I'm gonna give Ant-Man the Wasp an 80%. Guys, thank you for so much for watching and I'm so excited for the Comic-Con trailers. So yeah, I hope that Godzilla King of the Monsters or Avengers 4 too. Well, their trailer, I can't wait. I hope that the trailer will drop out in online. Yeah. Again guys, thank you for so much for watching and stay cool guys, see you next time.